Hello everyone. Today I want to talk to you about business policies. Business policies are a relatively new feature by eBay that allows you to determine different shipping, return and payment policies for your listings. It is a very, very useful tool and I want to teach you first how to use it on eBay and then how to implement it in DSM. I will go to the help center in which you can find many, many articles and interesting stuff to learn about DSM and about dropshipping. I'll go to the useful links and I'll click on other eBay links, opt in to have business policies in eBay. When I get to this screen, I might have to log into my eBay account. And then they explain a little bit about what are business policies and I click try now. Now I am getting to a screen in which I can edit, change and create new policies. I can have three types of policies, payment policies, shipment policies and return policies. My default policies will be the policies that are set to every new listing automatically. I can also change it and I will show you exactly how to. I have the name of the policy and I have the description of the policy and then some other data. So, as you can see, I already created here some policies earlier today, but let's create a new policy. You create new policy by clicking create policy and then you uh, decide which policy do you want to create. For example, let's create a new shipping policy. So, I have to give a name for my shipping policy. Let's call it test policy. I have to give it a description. Hello, sorry about that. Hello world policy. And I have now to, after I get it the name and you want to give it a descriptive name, you will see later why. But give it a name that explains you exactly what it is. Now decide what is the policy. What kind of shipping are you going to give? Is it for the same cost for all buyers and no shipping? It's irrelevant, usually we use this one. What kind of service are you going to use? Uh, USPS Parcel, which is nine to, uh, two to nine days, which is relevant for free shippings that you have in your suppliers. Or expedited shipping, one to three days if you're using um, Prime, Amazon Prime or Walmart, um, um, Walmart Shipping Pass, this is the one that you want to use, expedited shipping. You don't want to give it any cost, let's give it expedited shipping over here. We use free shipping, it's expedited and our handling time. Now this is the point that I should uh, tell you a little bit more about that. So toward 2017, eBay has changed what they define top rated seller to be. So one of the most important things for in order to become a top rated seller is to, um, um, is to update your tracking number in the handling time time. So if you put here three business days, that means that if you're selling now the item and it's 12 a.m. Um, on, on Sunday night, you have exactly three days to update your uh, tracking number uh, onto eBay. That means that you handled the package and you sent it. And only then if you have above 90% of that, you can become a top rated seller. If you want to in, uh, ship internationally using the uh, global shipping program, uh, you can do it also from here, but we're not going to talk about it uh, this day. And it's important to exclude shipping locations, which is a tip that I made another video about. But mark it in a V, and basically you want to exclude these four locations over here. Once you click save, I'm not sure if it will let me save it right now, because I might have other policies like that, but once you click save, you can see it in the table, yeah, there you go. You can see the table, there is a test policy. And what I like to do is I like to go to eBay and to delete the irrelevant uh, policies and to leave only uh, one or two policies that I'm actually going to use. So how do you use it in DSM? In the SM tool, go to the account settings page, to the rapid lister, to business policies, which you will probably not have them here, and click refresh. When you click refresh, we take your business policies from eBay, and here you go, you can change them. You can change the um, shipping policy, 
and you can set which uh, policy will be your default policy and you click update. Don't forget to click update otherwise it doesn't work. When you go to the rapid lister now and you want to list an item, you will be able to see the shipping policy within the rest of the uh, item settings right over here. You can still change them for the relevant item. So how do I use it? I have two types of shipping policy, for example. I have one type, uh, two types of shipping policy. One is expedited shipping and one is regular shipping. Uh, this is a, a test account, so, so ignore all that. So expedited shipping, when I use Prime uh, settings, when I sell, for example, Amazon Prime items or Walmart shipping pass items or any other uh, fast shipping um, items and regular shipping for items that are not uh, eligible for fast shipping from my supplier. I use payment policy that is only PayPal, only immediate payment. I never accept anything else. And I use a return policy depending on my supplier. So usually I accept returns within 30 days and the seller, sell, uh, seller side is the one that pays them because my supplier pays the returns. So these are business policies and this is how you use them both in, in eBay and in DSM tool. Thank you for listening today and welcome to DSM tool.